Hello, and welcome to the InventorCam Professor video series called Jumpstart, the easy way to learn InventorCam. My name's John, and in this series of Jumpstart videos, we'll perform the CAM programming of a simple cover using some of InventorCam's 2.5D milling technologies. Now, before we can program with InventorCam, we first have to create a new milling CAM project and then define the CAM part. And these steps will be covered in two parts or two videos. So let's go ahead and get started with first creating a new milling CAM project. All right, first things first, go ahead and launch Autodesk Inventor. Then you'll need to open the Inventor part that's provided with this series of videos. The part file called IV Simple Cover can be opened directly from our Getting Started Interactive Guide. Otherwise, if you're viewing these videos from the InventorCam website, you should have downloaded the part file and saved it to your computer. Once downloaded and saved, you can either open the part from the Autodesk Inventor ribbon or by first browsing to the file location in Windows Explorer and then double-clicking it. Since we have Autodesk Inventor already opened, go to the Getting Started tab of the ribbon and click Open. From the Open dialog box, browse to the location where you have the saved part file and open it. If you're not using the interactive guide, this is how you'll want to open the provided part file. I'll wait a minute until you're ready. OK, now that we're ready, let's make sure that we have our CAM settings customized for these upcoming tutorial videos. Go to the InventorCam 2015 tab of the Autodesk Inventor ribbon and click CAM Settings. InventorCam will start and display the InventorCam Settings dialog box. Here you can change things like the path to related directories, units, tolerances, default machines, editors, and color settings. You can easily view and edit the current program preferences, options, and defaults. Now to start, click Automatic CAM Part Definition in the list. You'll see that there are four important sections here. Definition of CNC controller, definition of coordsys, definition of stock, and definition of target. By default, these settings are usually enabled and they can be especially helpful for trial users. Keeping them enabled automates the CAM part definition process so one can start evaluating the software by immediately adding operations. For a new user though, you should probably know how to manually define the CAM part before having InventorCam automate the process for you. So let's make sure the automatic CAM part definition settings are disabled by deselecting the appropriate checkboxes. Let's also disable some of the default functionality that's included in the most recent version of InventorCam. First, click Template in the list. If you see there are default tool templates assigned to the following 2.5D milling operations, Go ahead and disable them like so. In this series, I want to cover the operation definition process from start to finish, and that includes creating our tools. Next, click Toolpath Simulation in the list and switch to the Simulation Modes tab. Make sure that your Preview Toolpath After Calculation for settings are disabled. I'll be covering simulation extensively in this series. Now we can click OK to close the InventorCam Settings dialog box. All right, so our CAM settings are customized, and here we have our CAD model opened, ready to go into InventorCam for programming. But before we can apply the toolpath to machine this part, which we'll call our target model, we first have to create and define the CAM part. Now to create the CAM part, go to the Autodesk Inventor ribbon again, and in this first command panel, click New Milling. The New Milling Part dialog box appears and handles the saving of our CAM project. The Use Model File Directory option is selected by default and informs InventorCam to save the CAM part in the appropriate location. Now the first field displays the path to the directory location where the CAM part will be saved. You can choose any location that you'd like. I personally like to keep my CAM parts saved with their referenced CAD models. The second field displays the name of our CAM part. InventorCam uses the inventor part name IV Simple Cover by default. In the next section, 
The third field is just showing us exactly what Autodesk Inventor model is being used for our CAM project and its directory location. And the last section displays the measurement units to be used in the current CAM project. We'll be using metric. Note that I'll also provide the closest inch conversions. Just keep a lookout for them in the captions at the bottom of the screen when the time comes to define any values. Now when we click OK, the CAM part is created and the new milling part dialog box closes. And that concludes part one of this InventorCam Jumpstart lesson where we've created a new milling CAM project. Join me for part two where we'll define the CAM part.